Hello, I'm going to teach you uh, just to do chords and inversions and so these are pieces of a chord. So we're going to just do C. And notice how I open all my fingers and let my thumb cap and rest. So that's C. You can do it with both hands if you like. And lift and come down. But I'm just going to show you one hand. So that's C. That's part of a C chord. So C3. This is the, you notice that I'm engaging that first joint and I'm using a lot of the fleshy part of my uh, fingers and it makes a better sound. Thumb is straight up and I'm halfway in the middle. I don't like playing at the edge because it's closer to the bone and it's a harder sound. So here's C3. All these fingers are loose. Wrist is a bit in. And like this. And lift. All the fingers come in flat. It's like I'm on a trampoline and I'm bouncing off. So that's C3 I call it because it's a third. Then I'm going to do C5. So that's the third finger and the first finger. This is a fifth. Like this. Open all the fingers. That's it. And then I'm going to do a chord. One, three, five chord. C, E, G. So you're going to do solid. All the fingers are open, including the pinky. And lift and come back down. My wrist is a bit in. That way the fingers can come in closer. Reason being is if you look at my hand, if my wrist is like this and my fingers are like this, they have a longer way to get in. If my wrist is in on the right hand only, not the left, then I only have this far to go. And this is a big no. It's very tense. So that's a big no to that. So wrist in. So um, once you do a few of the C chords, then you're going to break the C135. And lift and come back down. As you come down, you're already opening like the talons of a bird. Like that. That's it. So that's the basic exercise. Then you would go and do both hands. So here is C. And then see how I'm opening? This is C3. I'm opening to C5 position. C135. Opening, placing, and then broken together. broken separately like an arpeggio and muffle. So that's sort of the first exercise and you would do that on your D and E and F so you sort of understand little bits of, of the chord, the basic just the uh, 135 chord where we're not doing anything more than that. Um, then we're going to look at inversions. So this is C, one, three, five chord, C, E, G. And then solid. Then you invert it, you take the bottom note, C, and you put it in the top. And you get E, G, C. So I call that C1, first inversion. First inversion means C's in the top with your thumb, your number one finger, C's in the top. Only C's and E's and G's. So that's C1. And then C2 is C is in the middle with your second finger, C2, second inversion, C2. It's a G, a C, and an E. you would go and try both hands. So what you, you would do is you would go solid, broken together, broken separately. Then C1, solid, broken together, broken separately. together, broken separately, and then that 
way you can go all the way up. Eventually, or you can do. So those are a, a little, um, those are your chords and inversions and just a little tiny exercise on chords and inversions. So enjoy that and uh, that's the first lesson and hand position we talked about that also so fingers pointing down thumb up in the air fingers pointing down engage the first joint and pull back not forward if your hand can permit tap the thumb a good exercise also is a, a scale on the thumbs so uh, Practice the thumb strengthening. So that's it for lesson one.